online, on digital radio and TV, and on 94.9 FM. London's radio station. BBC Radio London. The day doesn't go by without a story in the papers about the video game Fortnite. At children hooked on uh, Fortnite will be treated on the NHS after a gaming addiction was classified as a medical disorder. We need some help, don't we? Andy Robertson uh, is a journalist. And Andy, you've you've not studied Fortnite necessarily individually, but certainly it, the the impact of games and their addictive qualities. Yeah, so I, I work with quite a lot of families who play Fortnite and who have kids who play Fortnite. Um, and my own 13-year-old plays the game as well. And it's, it's something that a lot of headlines are quite negative about it. Um, and if it's played in balance and if the parent is involved in that decision, I think it can be quite positive. But that's not to say that it's simple. You, I think you need to pay attention as a parent to what your children are playing and what's going on on the screen. How do you know that it has, isn't having a ne- negative impact on your child? Um, well, so my, my 13-year-old plays the game in the living room, um, so we'll play it together sometimes, so I'll talk to him about it. He does get frustrated sometimes, and we talk about that. We talk about how long he should play and when should he stop, and sometimes he plays too long and afterwards he's frustrated. And so we have a system where we'll say, you know, after a certain amount of time, have a time out and do something different. And so it's about that variety. Not gaming per se, but certainly with our four-year-old, we've literally had to take the iPad away altogether because we found if he spent more than, say, 35 or 40 minutes on it, when you took it away, he became literally like Chucky's brother. He became a little monster. Does that not in and of itself say that it isn't perhaps the right thing for you? Or it's, I don't mean to make it personal, please forgive me, Andy, but th- that it isn't something necessarily that children should be engaging in? I think it's about um, variety in diet. So if a child was just eating the same food all the time, we wouldn't worry about plate time. We would worry about what's on the plate. And so I often say in a similar way, we need to worry about what's on the screen. So it's not just to say a particular child spends too long in a day. It's what, what are they doing on the screen? Is it a variety of activities? And obviously there's some common sense. You want children to be active and but to be outside But that doesn't sound like, well. so please forgive me, and it may be that I'm one of these sensationalist kind of newspaper red top, and, and you need to calm me down, <laughs> right? And that's your job today. You've been brought on here to calm me down. That doesn't make sense to me. This game is a game where you can engage with uh, playing with people online who you don't know. That people and all the dangers that I spend my time talking about, you know, making sure you know who your children are talking to, how long they're on, uh, what they're doing, bullying and the like. That child, and in this instance, from my child's school, it's the children under the age of 12 who are playing here. They're engaged and exposed to all of that. Yeah, so the game is rated as as 12, and that's mainly for the violence in the game, but it also has those online interactions as well. And So it's not without its downsides, it's not without its dangers, but that's the parental responsibility, I think, of actually being there and being part of the gaming world of your child. And it's not easy to do that because it can be an alien thing, Um, but I think with a bit of sort of research online and a bit of work, parents can actually turn it into something very positive, but it's it's not simple. Yeah, but you say that, and you know, people are going to buy three, four, five hundred pound games to keep that little child... and so quiet for a couple of hours if the game keeps them quiet keeps them out of my way lets me watch my game of thrones or whatever it might be i'm not doing any research i'm not playing it with them you know that i mean w- please talk to me as though we're in the real world because that's i'm dealing with that what is the game because we've talked about it please forgive me it's because i'm rubbish right but what what do you do in it so um fortnite's a, an online game where you play with a hundred other players and that's part of the appeal you're playing with real people you play in this kind of big island environment where you parachute down you land on the island and then it's essentially a a gunfight to see who of those hundred people can survive until the end and as you're playing a big storm encroaches and makes the playing area smaller and smaller and that's kind of the novelty that by the end there's a small zone maybe a few players fighting it out so if as a child you're that winner at the end there's a big sort of sense so the object is we're, we're talking about killing people so that you stay alive that's right yeah so we're talking about a kind of apocalyptic jungle where only the biggest, baddest, strongest, most skillful can stay alive. Yeah, it's more skill and accuracy and reflex, um, reflexes rather than sort of strength. Well, you're, yes. you're killing somebody to start. Did, did, yeah. Why are you? Why are you? I'm not. I'm not honestly not tr- <laughs> talking about you. I know it sounds like I'm talking about you and your child. You kill everybody else, and you're the last person standing. That's the object of the game. That's right. Yeah. 
And that's what the kids are telling me on the street. They tell me on the street that they're in a jungle, right? And that the postcode warfare is about that. that that's exactly what they're doing out on the street, isn't it? Yes, I think as a parent, you need to under, you need to see how your child is reacting to that. So, uh, so my child, my 13 year old, he was quite blasé about, you know, I just headshotted someone, I just killed them, and I didn't like the way he was using that language, you know, so freely. Well, and stop, so, the, stop him playing the game. Uh, well, that is an option. I didn't, I didn't choose to do that. I, I, I wanted him to get more of a reality of what what it was like to be in a war zone shoot, shoot like he somebody. was. How is he going to get a reality? Well, that's All he's going to do is have a desensitised uh, nature towards pain, her uh, inflicted upon other people. It's the Hunger Games. Yeah, so different parents will address that in different ways. The way I did it was to say, OK, you can keep playing, but you're going to watch Saving Private Ryan with me. And uh, obviously that's an older rated game, so some parents online were saying I shouldn't have done that. But for me, that created a way to have a real dialogue with my son and to say, look... Violence isn't just a cartoon for entertainment. There is another aspect to it. And he came away from that saying, oh, yeah, it's a bit horrid, isn't it, Dad? And his, his language and his attitude to the game did change. And actually, he, he now isn't av so avid at playing Fortnite. He'll play other games as well. He still plays Fortnite. But for me personally, that was the way I dealt with it. And I think different parents will deal with it differently. OK, so let's move this away because I can see what I've done. And I apologise. I did not invite you onto my show to make it about you, to judge you in any That's way. Okay. And I apologise. <laughs> if that's the way it came across. But generally, I'm worried about this game because this game is being talked about all the time. And this game is now being talked about by the heroes, the people who won that match yesterday as what they play in their downtime. The minute that Deli Ali and uh, Harry Kane say that's what they're gonna do, then hundreds of thousands of young people are also going to do it. And if they don't have fantastic parents, as I am sure you are, then can you see how for me that is an incredibly dangerous game? I can see, yeah, there, there is a downside to that. But encouraging p children to play a game that's very entertaining, has lots of social interaction and lots of, you know, other other benefits to it isn't necessarily... They're killing, they're killing people, Andy. Yeah, and that is, that is the nature and, of and these they're games. And they're not going shopping, they're not down <laughs> at the allotment. They are killing people. You can make it whatever you want. You go next door and water the old lady's plants. But ultimately, if she isn't on your side, you're going to kill her. You're killing people. Yes. I mean, that, that's the nature of those games. So I think for some people, if, if violence is a kind of a real issue and, you know, a sort of you know, something that you don't, don't want your kids to go near, then you just will you'll not have your kids play it. Yeah. Um, but obviously in films, in movies, in all sorts of media, that's part of what we uh, consume. And, and so games are part of that. Just finally, have you tried to say no to your child for something that everybody else in that school has got, everybody else in that class have got? Have you attempted to say no to your child? Yes, yeah, so my my ten year old would like to play the game as well, and his older brother plays it. Um, but I'm not ready for him to. I don't think he's mature enough to deal with the guns and, and the fighting in it, like his older brother. And so I said, no, not yet. You're not playing that until you're a bit it. older. That's it. Is he got his mobile phone yet? <laughs> well, not not until he's at secondary school. <laughs> that's that's but the I'll rule. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. That's the rule that I've made. Andy, thanks for coming in Thank again. I, I didn't mean to make it a, a, about you, but it was to get a greater understanding of the game and perhaps its impact. It has. It's like Candy Crush has taken over the world. Uh, Andy Robertson, the journalist talking, uh, are helping us to understand about Fortnite. Thank you so much.